All right, we're on break here at the job site, so I thought it'd be a good time to give you a truck tour. This old guy here, seen a few things, but that just means that it's got experience. I and mean, by experience, we mostly mean this thing is a absolute piece of shit. We're talking this thing is older than Tacklebox and all of our summer workers and a couple of our full-time guys, actually. But this is a tour, so why don't we hop on in here and check it out? First of all, the best feature is everyone knows you pull up to the job site because you hear one of these bad boys. Hopefully you're not listening to this video all loud because people are going to think you're on a different website. So we'll put some WD-40 on that, but... Probably not. So the seat here is what I like to call the Abercrombie and Fitch design. Just got holes in it, you know? You remember those kids back in the day just buy jeans that were only holes? This baby is a nice designer seat. A lot of farts have been launched into that bad boy too. I gotta go wash my hand. It's, it's dirty underneath the mat and it's dirty on top. So what's the point of the mat, I guess? Why don't we walk over the door and I'll show you what we're working with. So this guy here um, is what I like to call the first aid cubby. We got sunscreen, you know. Oh, there's a backwood cigar wrapper in there. Um, a little clean athletic tape. You got an open cut, you just wrap it up with this stuff and I don't think you'd get an infection. Thought I'd give you a little inside peek of the captain's chair here. It is a chair of luxury. We have this fine steering wheel that to the outside world, it looks worn. It actually just is forming to my hands is really what it is. Now you see these days in those fancy Teslas or fancy new trucks, the screen is bigger than anything you've ever seen. It's basically like a mini TV. This bad boy has got a screen that is about two inches. And I know what you're thinking is two inches a lot. Yes right so that's the captain's chair i might as well show you the other side of the front seat while we're over here Ooh, ah uh, that is yesterday's and last week's and last month's lunch i know what you're thinking you're like miles that is a lot of garbage well when i'm going to holiday for breakfast lunch and dinner and i'm going in and out and in and out and in and out of that place with delicious snacks, food, drinks, all that. Gonna end up on the front seat floorboard. You got uh, your breakfast sandwiches, a lot of coffee. Ooh, one of my favorites, the old egg roll. Business is all about efficiencies and where can you cut corners? Making a trip to the garbage can and or cleaning out your truck is just wasted time that businesses don't need to be doing it. So that's why when the boss says, wow, your truck's dirty, what are you doing? I said, I am saving this company money because I am not wasting any time by throwing away my stuff. I mean, we can't talk work trucks without talking about what's going on in the bed. This is where all the magic happens. This is where all the work happens. We, uh, you know, maybe looks like chaos, but in reality, it's organized. <coughs> organized chaos. Hey, Miles, why don't you put the shovel in a place that is more organized than this? Well, look how efficient this is. Miles, we need a shovel, quick grab it. Sure thing, boss. Got it! You tell me, is that not an efficient business process? Plus it goes away pretty fast. Now if I'm being honest with you, all this stuff in the back and the bed, it's kind of stuff we don't really give a shit about. But toolbox is the stuff we care about. What the f Who took all the beer out of here? Hey! You drink all the beer? I put it in the toolbox for a reason! No wonder your wife left you. All right, let's check out the back seat. Let's see what we got. We got a two tier system, clothes up top, tools down below. If you think anyone is riding in the back of this seat, you are dreaming. Yeah, I'd say the last person that rode back here was Tacklebox on his first week. We made him ride a week straight back here, knees to chest, and we had a couple out of town jobs. We were this close to making them quit. Another good lesson too about below the seat, you don't want to stick your hand too far in there because there might be a live critter in there willing to bite a few fingers off. So this is about as far in as you're going to want to go. And whatever's under there, just it's that's theirs now. They live there. <laughs> yeah, how did the badger get in there? There's probably a hole in the bottom of the truck that it just climbed up in. But again, that's character. All right. Well, that was the truck tour. Break's almost over, so I head back over there and... Pretend to work for the rest of the day. Oh, you betcha, yeah. Yeah.